I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Green Cats TV. <laughs> If you like old things, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the like button, because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Whilst filming my video of H.G. Wells' house in Sangate, Kent, I thought to myself it would be great to do a video of this lovely old building in the neighbouring town of Hive that H.G. Wells loves so much. He included it in one of his non-science fiction books, Kipps. This building is said to date back to as far as the 12th century. In the book, it was the old Kipps bookshop. Kipps was one of a number of books which Wells wrote about the lives of ordinary people and their struggles with the British class system. And uh, he was even heralded by some as the new Charles Dickens, thanks to books like that. Kipps was also Wells' favourite work too, and spawned the hugely successful stage musical Half a Sixpence. And the first film adaption starred none other than the singer Tommy Steele, who is considered to be Britain's first rock and roll star. Now that you've seen that video, you might want to check out these ones too. Find out why H.G. Wells is a modern day fashion icon and what connection is there between H.G. Wells and Britain's first ever rock and roll star, Tommy Steele. If you like a bit of classic British comedy, you might be interested in where Hattie Jakes was born. And if you would like to steam ahead, why not jump on board the world famous Romney Hive and Dimchurch Miniature Railway waiting for you right now. Thanks for watching.